Hey everyone, welcome to my another tutorial of neural networks with one hidden layer tutorial series. So I'll try to be fast and not to tell many th things in theory. So in our previous tutorial, we wrote a uh, forward propagation and cost calculation functions. So next we need to write a back propagation function. For this, we'll use a cache computer during a uh, forward propagation function. Uh, I mean here. So I have here a full code from uh, my last tutorial. I zoomed it so you can see everything fine. So I think I hope everything will be fine. If if you can't see a code, just write a comment in uh, YouTube and I'll do it differently next time. So back propagation is usually the hardest uh, part in deep learning. And here is the again is the picture of our mathematical equations we'll use and we'll use six equations on the right of this image since we are building a vectorized implementation so this is uh, uh equations for one example if it's not vectorized but as we are using uh, matrices with vectors we need to write uh, use this right side of this picture as I said, I'll try to be quick because uh, logistic regression and hidden layer to neural networks is quite similar and serious things will start in another tutorial series well, where we will start building a deep neural network and this will, will be quite complicated even for me because, well, you'll see that's a quite complicated stuff there. So, uh, okay. For you, I'll do something like that. And because we need only the right side, well, I'll just hide the left side first. So next, I'll create a backward propagation function, just as it was here. And well, I can copy for a propagation function here. And I'll just write a backward backward. And here we'll use a uh, different input. So here will be our parameters. Next will be our cache from for propagation function. There will be my x with shape of input and number of examples. And next will be our i of true labels vectors of shape one and number of examples. So Next, what we need to do is we need to get a number of examples. So we simply take a shape of one. There's an examples so we can take from X, from E, doesn't matter, actually. So I'll just remove these comments. And what I need to do is I need to retrieve a W1 and W2 from parameters dictionary. So here it is. And Next, I'll need to retrieve uh, another parameters. There is a1 and a2 from cache dictionary. So I'll just copy. That makes it faster. And now, uh, at last, I'll here are, I'll return uh, grads, and here will be my grads and. Maybe I can copy from somewhere. Yeah, I can try to copy the parameters. This way will be much faster for me. And here will be my grads. And here we need to add D at the uh, beginning of our parameters. So just like that. I'll just make it tidy code for me. This is an easier way for me to work like that. And now that we'll need to write uh, these mathematical expressions we have here. So, okay, doesn't matter what is here. Maybe this will help for us. So what is the first? So it's DZ2. And how we do this, it's quite simple. We take a2 minus i just like that 
one is written. So second is DW2 will be equal to, um, so here comes a uh, help. So here is uh, that function we had before. So here is DZ2, numpy dot by DZ2, and here is A1 here, and all of this is transposed just like that. And at the beginning, here is our number of examples. So we need to write one divided by number of examples and all this multiplied by our function. So second function is written. So next is our bias function. So this will be written also quite similarly. So again, there is a division by a number of examples. So I'll just copy this and next is our numpy sum. So here I just write a numpy sum of dz2, dz2, and next is our x is equal to 1, and keep dims will be equal to true. That's quite easy. So next, as we wrote uh, everything for for our db2, dw2, and dz2, now the same we should do to our uh, input layer parameters. So I'll just write a uh, dz1 equal to here again goes a uh, numpy dot. So I'll just copy this numpy dot and here is now dw2 instead and here is uh, dz dz2 sorry dz2 and next what we need to do is calculate uh, our tangent function activation function of our tangent what we did in our forward propagation so there is a quite interesting place so i'll just uh, I'll just write it up without many explanations because right now I, I I don't have an idea how to easily explain this. So here should be one minus, uh, for example, this will be a a two, but we need to write in a mathematical numpy matrix expression. So we just write numpy power. And here will be my a1 and by 2. Just like that. And I'll just write a comment or in my text version tutorial. You can just read why we do so and so on. But doesn't matter for now. You don't need to remember all of this. So dw another expression will be uh, dw1 sorry so here we'll write uh, again numpy dot and so on so here I'll just copy this and here is our dz1 and our input of x transposed and one more left so it's our db1 db1 will be well as you can see it's quite similar to our previous db so i'll just copy and here will be also numpy sum and here is simply a uh, dz1 x is one and keep them true so that's it we wrote here a backward propagation and everything should be fine and if you don't know what it's our parameters cache x and y just read it on my text version tutorial and I'll move forward because I want to write in this my tutorial how we uh, update our parameters. So we'll implement the update true rule using gradient descent. Uh, so we'll use uh, these parameters and in order to update our W1, B1, W2 and B2. 
So I'll just try to uh, create a new function. So define update uh, parameters. And here will be our parameters dictionary, grads, grads, and learning rate. Here I'll create and it will be 0.1 for, for example, as default. And next, I'll just, what I'll need to do is same as before. I need to retrieve parameters from my dictionary. So I'll just write a W1 is just like that. And for a bias, we'll write B1 and here. And one more is bias2. Bias2, bias2, just like that. And as before, we did similarly. We have here parameters and here we have a gradients. So we'll need to do the same for grads. So DW, DB, and gradients. And here I'll just change this to grads. And here I'll add a D at the beginning. So now we have uh, parameters of W1, B1, W2, and B2. And same parameters for gradients. And now we'll just write a very simple function. You already saw this in my logistic regression tutorial series, and it will be just w1 equal to w1 minus dw1 multiplied by learning rate. That's it. This is update folder for my w1. Here's w2. Will be w2, w2, w2. And now we just write this for my bias b1, b1, d, b1, and we write the same for our second bias. That's it. And next, I'll need to update these parameters. So I'll just find a function which I can copy. Okay, here it is parameters and last what is left return parameters just like that and here it is we wrote a backward propagation and update parameters function and that's it we almost have everything what we need for our model and yeah so we have our parameters initialization function, forward propagation function, uh, computed cost function, and backward propagation function, and update parameters function. So what is left is to build all these functions into one model, and you'll see that it will be very similar to the model we did in logistic regression. Maybe I'll just copy it and modify so you could see the similarities so that's it for this tutorial so in next tutorial we'll finish our uh, two layer neural networks it means with one hidden layer and we'll uh, learn teach our model to recognize dogs and cats the same as we did with logistic regressions and you might see the differences and so on and after this we'll start building a deep neural networks and you'll see how hard it is really to do so with uh, NumPy mathematical expressions and then in future we'll do the same with TensorFlow and we'll, you'll see that with TensorFlow we can do this in few simple lines. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Good luck. Subscribe my channel of course. Like this video. Share with it with your friends and so on. So I could grow I could reach more viewers and so on and I would be more motivated to create more tutorials. So thank you all for watching again and goodbye. See you next time.